Brooklyn Independent Television. From the garbage bags that lie in the street to the heel of my boot that's keeping the beat. Everywhere I go, it's always the same. People try to criticize us and bring us shame, saying Daddy Long Legs ain't no good at all. He hangs around them juke joints all the time, singing and playing his harmonica like some wild man done lost his mind. But we don't care what you have to say, because we do things our way. I am Daddy Long Legs, and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I'm a harp man, foot stomper, blue shouter. Stomp my foot, clap my hands, hoop, holler. People always tell me that our shows are, are like a spiritual experience. Highly visceral, stomping, completely wild. It's just about having this uplifting moment, this higher stream of consciousness. When you really put everything into that first second of that first song, you could feel immediate audience response. And once you feel that, you just run with it. And that's, you know, gives you the momentum for the entire show. One of my favorite parts is when we work out on something like a freeform freak out and just bring the house down. And people just aren't used to seeing it anymore, you know. When Daddy Longlegs comes together, we're on stage, we're playing at top volume. It's another level of happiness, you know. The place where I come from and the place that I live now is, is totally influential on my music, on my writing the entire attitude of it. We are about New York, and the thing about New York is, it's this mecca. I mean, to me, I, I almost consider it the capital of the world. What drew me to the harmonica was just how immediate the instrument is. There's no setup for it. When I'm alone by myself, it's my only friend. You know, we're a group, we function as a group. I have a ton of respect for the two guys that I'm on stage with. I respect them as musicians and as people. I do anything for them, they do anything for me, you know. We believe in what we're doing so much and we believe in the music. We have three very different personalities. And, you know, Brian taught me a lot about the blues. and. Josh taught me a lot about arrangement and songs and all kinds of rock and roll music. Every time we play together, we teach each other something new. When we're getting together to work on a song, um, it usually starts with one thing. If, if I have a riff on the harmonica or, or Marat has a riff on the guitar or Josh has a drum beat that he wants to start out with, and we just start building from there. <laughs> What we do, I think, is completely unique. We're taking influences from all our different backgrounds, from punk rock and pub rock, to roots and blues, and even folk music, gospel. To make something that's completely different, high energy, in your face attitude, we're just gonna destroy you. Now I'm on a mission to destroy rock and roll. As shocking as that may sound to some people, like I just want to get rid of everything that's been done just and rebuild it back from the bottom up. Like I want to destroy rock and roll as it stands, rhythm and blues as it stands. If I could make one record that will stand the test of time and be legendary and people will still look back on it as being influential, that's my entire goal in life. 
Music is my freedom. That's how I know how to be free. That's how I know how to be a human being. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.